Hello student, before starting our new chapter DBMS, let's do a small animation in Flash, the one which we have learned earlier. Let's create a Flash document. Here comes our stays. And let's do one small animation over by using what we, what we have learned. Let's take brush. First, uh, let's do this frame by frame animation. We are going to create a stick man. When you draw a stick man, divide it into 10 different parts. Divided statement into 10 different parts. Like Okay, let's take a circle over here. Like this. Now let's draw the next frame. Let's move this stick man a little bit so that it remains the same. Okay, let's do the next one. Let's move a little bit. Now let's change the hand part. We can change this second hand part also, second frame. I think the and increase the size okay let's go to the next frame let's move a little bit I have pressed that F6 over here
Let the head be. So that it's going to jump over here. Okay. After finishing this one frame by frame drawing, the one which I am doing right now is pressing F6. F6 means new keyframe. Same with this one, insert keyframe. This and this is the same thing. I'm going to move a little bit our drawing. Now let me change the hand and the Okay, here comes like this. Now uh, let me increase this. Increase one frame over here so that Start walking from there. Let me erase this one. Okay, it's going to jump and let's see the after selecting the last frame I'm going to press F6 again I have copied the previous drawing and after that I have to move the drawing a little bit so that it jumps and it comes over here Let's take the brush and draw. This doesn't look good. Let's add one frame here. After selecting the end frame again, let's press F6. Again, let's move a little bit so it's going to fall down. Let's erase the drawing. Stick man.
it's like a dancing let's move this frame a little bit so that it jumps it feels like it jump let's change this leg part Go this. Okay, this look a little, little bit better. I think his hand become long. And let him, let's make him stand so that let's finish our animation. In the last frame, I'm going to make him stand. So that the head part becomes the standing. In the last frame, let's make him stand properly. For playing, I am pressing enter key. Okay, let's end here. And for playing in an media control control plus enter you can play it from here or here is our animation this is frame by frame animation and let's make a little bit
so that at last part it stain let's increase our frame rate over here so jump from standing look here I have increased the duration over here look what's the difference when I increase the new frame when I insert this insert frame the time duration when the movements of the stickman time duration increase over here look the changes and when it stands still the time duration also it changes. it increase the time duration and while moving here I didn't add any new frame and while in the jumping part I have added a new frame uh, that frame that means new frame means I have increased a little bit time over here also and in the last part and the uh, first part I have added number of frames I don't know how many frames I have added here so that you can change like this the duration which uh, the one which you want to show the frame time duration you can change like this by adding the frame okay this is frame by frame animation of a stickman let's save it Let's save it as stickman dot FLA flash. And others we have already learned about save twin animation also, but let's do it again overall. Uh, stickman frame by frame animation we have done by drawing a different frame. That is while taking here these two changes I will tell you I'll explain the one which we have learned earlier look here this is a new frame new frame there if there is a new frame uh, black dot will be there and this is the end of the frame here all the frame are same the drawing means the drawing is same and this is the last frame of the previous one the same drawing this is the last frame and here another drawing changes here also new drawing changes here also new new drawing changes here also new drawing and here i have added a small time duration and here new frame new frame new frame new drawing here last drawing this is the last drawing and it's same it's, it's like standing still Okay, let's take a new flash document. From changing from another shape to new another shape, let's take a big difference between a circle to let's fill with different color. and let's take here 40 f6 and let's draw here in the last frame let's draw a new shape bigger one than before and let's select different color I have already explained before also I'm going to tell you again this black dot indicate a drawing and this is also a drawing this is new keyframe and this rectangle denote the last frame of the previous drawing means previous drawing means this drawing this all the drawing are same here over here and this is the last frame for that one 
the same drawing and this is a new drawing again it's very easy shape training animation is very easy like this it will change the shape means you have to draw a different shape over here and different shape over here and by selecting any frame between them and you have to go to here and in twin you have to select shape and shape twinning animation is finished let's see control plus enter and this is the change in shape you can increase the time limit our default frame per second is 12 frame per second you can change that at one here by clicking here also 12 frame per second if you want to make it slow then decrease this one let's say 5 frame per second let's play so it's playing like a slow motion when like when you you know how to uh, click slow motion in mobile and all that means when you click slow motion the frame per second decreases and when you fast forward it the frame per second increases here if I play like 30 so it will be very fast so it's like playing very fast let's say 50 50 frame per second so it will be very fast like this you can change the frame rate but by default it will come in 12 12 frame per second so this is by default 12 frame per second next is motion twin animation means it will change the position let's take a new flash document flash document okay after taking a new flash document you can insert an object picture or object so that it rotates so this circle will will move from here to here from one corner to another corner from one corner to another corner this circle is going to move but when I do frame by frame animation it will take so much time when I do animation when I want to move the ball from this corner to the diagonally this corner it will I can do it by frame by frame animation but it will take time but by using these flash features motion twin animation we can move it very fast like select the last frame up to 40 if you want and press f6 and selecting the last frame you have to change the position I think we didn't create this one to symbol graphic okay
before it was no symbol that's why I have deleted that one and I have created that into symbol now it's symbol now move the position till here now this is the first frame and this is the last frame the one which we are going to move from the top corner to the bottom corner so select any frame between here and select this motion part so it will move automatically like this so this is motion motion twin animation if i do this by frame by frame animation then i have to move my ball this symbol or the one which i am creating a circle i have to move my circle this frame by frame so let me tell you how i'm going to do that in another flash document i can do it but see the difference without using this motion twin animation let's create a shape let's create a shape over here same color and convert this convert this into symbol graphic okay you can name it or circle now press f6 and we'll move a little bit f6 we'll move a little bit f6 we'll move a little bit f6 like this f6 move a little bit f6 move a little bit f6 move a little bit f6 f6 means uh, you can do like this also insert keyframe i'm using a shortcut that's why right click insert keyframe okay. why i am not using this keyframe because i'm going to change the position i'm going to change the position of the free previous drawing or i'm going to change the drawing of drawing the one which we i have drawn or we have drawn over here that drawing i'm going to change it in the next frame that's why i'm taking this new keyframe insert keyframe if you are not going to change your drawing then you can insert by this insert frame but if you are going to change your drawing then you have to take insert keyframe move a little bit and f6 like this you can do but by using this flash feature motion twin animation you can simply skip all this step okay i went out of the boundary so let's move back here okay it's coming back again okay finish okay, yeah it's bouncing back again look like this we can do by frame by frame animation whatever we are doing in motion to animation but uh, it's easier to do motion to animation by selecting the object only and we have to change the setting and it's very easy so next one is uh, guided motion part guided motion to in animation for changing that feature we have to go to this property inspector setting let's change into this one the one which we have done the motion twin let's make it a guided one okay let's create a new one let me draw a plane
let me draw a plane I'm drawing with my mouse it won't be any uh, it won't be very beautiful plane but let's draw it it's like a fish the wing area let's we have to change the drawing into object convert into symbol let's make it plain okay first it's same it's similar with this one here we have we took a circle and here we have drawn a plane so this is the first frame or first drawing first page and let's select here 40 f6 after selecting 40 press f6 and move your plane to the last position where you want to keep it like this and select motion path so that it moves like this okay now we have to draw a guided motion path guided motion path we have added it and we have to draw by using a pencil so that it moves in a direction so let's start from here it will fly like this like this and comes here I cannot see, let's zoom a little bit. Now we have drawn the part also. We have to press. Okay, the part is there. Okay, here comes our plane. Now we have connect with the path and the object. Let's see. So look here in our animation. Look here, the plane is flying backward. This is not uh, what we want. 
look at our animation it's move it move the plane our plane move according to our path the one which we have already uh, drawn but this is not what I want that the plane is flying backward so how to change that one if we want the plane to fly forward then how we are going to change the orientation means the plane has to rotate means we have to change the orientation with the path according to the path so let's do that one let's select the first frame which is already connected with the path we have drawn look here carefully this is the part we have drawn that's why you have to put that part now after selecting the frame that is plane plane selecting here this layer go to property inspector and orient to path look here path orient rotation path rotation you have to select this checkbox this is important if you want to move your object according to your path then you have to select this orient the orient to path if you want to rotate your object i'm telling you again i'm explaining while we are playing our plane before selecting this one while we are playing our animation or the one which we are developing the plane is flying backward according to our path so this is not what i want or what we want so according to the path we want to change uh, the plane direction the one which the plane is fr uh, flying so for that you need to select your object plane and select this checkbox orient to path after clicking it now the plane rotates according to our path this is not a beautiful animation but the one which i which we want is happening the plane flies up and down up and down but the direction is according to our path this is a flying animation and the plane is also not much that beautiful you can draw a beautiful plane than mine and you can create a path animation like this flying an airplane and rotate according to the path your object I think this ends our animation effect in flash if you don't know if you have any problem also you can ask me in Google or Google Meet class but if you don't watch this class there will be a problem so let's end here for flash animation